Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back for another video. Today is a very exciting video because it's another diet slash fitness video. So today I'm going to be doing Blackpink Lisa's diet and workout routine or diet and workout for three days. So Lisa has actually gone on to reveal that she doesn't actually diet because she just doesn't like diet and same. Uh, yes, yeah, same. Um, but what she does instead is she does a lot of workouts. So her, like how she maintains her nice figure and her body is, she is very active. She dances like every single day. Um, but on top of that, she also does Pilates. So for today, um, oh sorry, for these next three days, I'm going to be doing Pilates every single day. So just eating in smaller portion sizes along with Pilates. And that is our entire workout for the three days. Welcome to the I Hate Amy Show! Oh, I like it. Before I measure myself, I do want to make a quick disclaimer. So, um, what you're going to see is that I haven't been working out for about maybe a week, almost two weeks now. Honestly, all I've been doing is stress eating and I haven't really been moving much. And, uh, yeah, that combined just makes it so... <laughs> yeah, I did gain some weight back, so... That is why I'm going to look like a little bit more bloated than usual. It's not that I try to gain the weight back on purpose just for the purpose of this video. That's super unhealthy and I wouldn't do that. It's just it happened naturally because I was stressed and I didn't want to do anything except for lie down. And yeah, so just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, but let's measure right now. I'm out of breath. This is what I look like right now. This is me from the side. The belly button right here. So. Okay, so for the measurements we've got over here, I've got 32 inches. So that's my waistline right now. So we're starting off day one at 32 inches. And now let's get started with the actual workout. The video that I'm gonna be following today is literally one called Pilates for Beginners. So, uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. So this one is 20 minutes, and hopefully I won't have to pause that often. She says quick and painless, so we'll see. Keep the top of the foot pointed towards the front of the room. We'll just do some teeny tiny small circles. Um, this should be really challenging. We only want to move from our hip joint and it's really easy to move our entire hips and around. So this is a good one to bring the hand to the hip to give you some idea of how much movement you have going on. So really lengthen through the back of the leg, point the toes long, and just do some small little circles. Let's go ahead and reverse them. Awesome job. Go ahead and plant your hand back down on the ground, flex the foot, and we will lift and lower again. Should be definitely feeling it all along the back of the hamstring, the side of the leg. It's a great one for our inner thighs. Go ahead and flex. I'm sorry, point. Beautiful. You smile because you're having so much fun doing this video with me. It does burn, but it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. It's a nice burn because I feel like you're working out all of your 
muscles without being like super out of breath because it wasn't like a lot of jumping or cardio which I really like and uh, yeah so that's the first day let's go on to food let's go on to the diet she did state that she just likes to portion control so for our diet we are going to be eating pretty much whatever we want like our regular diet we are just going to be portion controlling so in terms of portion control what I did Google for if you are starting off with portion control is you want to fill half of the plate with all vegetables or salads a quarter of the plate that one you want to fill with your good quality protein and then for the last quarter you want to fill that up with complex carbohydrates so complex carbs So I had poke and I just wanted to give ideas of what I ate throughout the day. I'm not going to record everything that I ate, but I had half of this poke because I shared it with my sister. Lisa's diet and workout or her routine is very, very workout heavy. So today I'm going to be doing another round of Pilates, but I'm also going to be added in a weighted ab workout. Hi, I'm Amy Davis, personal trainer. In this video, I'm we'll be Amy. Doing introductory Pilates moves that portion is done for today. I will see you guys for more workouts tomorrow for day three, which is our last day. So my friend came over and dropped off these massive cookies. This one is brown butter and um, in true portion control size, I will be eating half for now and then five minutes later, I'm going to eat the other half. But look, see you can enjoy this ginormous mm, cookie for breaking it in half. Welcome to day three. <sighs> My neck is so sweaty. Everything about me is so sweaty. Pilates is so hard and that was very tiring but we did Pilates for three days I didn't think I could do it so yeah it's definitely a challenge hi it's me again um while I was editing I actually realized that like I don't have any clothes like all the clothes that I work out in I've already shown them in other videos and I also like wear them out so they're not even just because like considered workout clothes they're like just like all the clothes I have so yeah if you see that it's like I'm over repeating or clothes repeating um just pretend you don't see it just imagine it's a new shirt yeah but anyways, so after the three days, um, I feel pretty good. Um, honestly, Pilates is so hard, like so much harder than I thought it would be. Um, I think that because Pilates, it's like a lot of strain on your body and it's like long and slow. Like all Pilates videos I've done, they have been at least like 20 minutes or something. And I'm just like, oh my God. And it just burns so bad. A lot of people who can do Pilates, um, good on you. Regardless if I even lost any like inches off my waist, I still think it was just a really um, healthy way to try to lose weight or try to diet because you know you're just doing like it's very workout heavy, you're not restricting any food, like 
fruit groups at least you're just kind of cutting down on portion sizes and um yeah I think it's a good diet anyways okay enough rambling let's get on to the final measurements so yeah this is after the three days of Pilates and one weighted ab workout so this is from the front and then this is okay this is from the side at the belly button right here I I am pretty much right on 31.5 I can't remember if that's what I started off as um, but even if it is and I didn't lose any waist, or I mean, it didn't lose any inches off, then it's fine because that just means I maintained it. Yes, just wanted to end the video off saying that it is a good diet, so if you guys want to try it, please go ahead and give it a try, and let me know how it works out for you, and let me know if you guys like this video. And Stream Ice Cream by Blackpink and Selena Gomez. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day after watching this video, or rest of your week after watching this video. That's the end for me. I'm going to go eat ice cream now because I think I deserve it. So, okay, bye!